YouTube, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing? Today we're going to be reacting. Somebody I reacted in the past and not just because I wasn't planning on doing this, but I, I've had you guys in my comment section asking me to continue to react to him. Either some of you guys haven't seen the first reaction I've done with him or you just want me to react to him again. The only reason why I thought of that was because I was scrolling down like I always do. I clicked hairstyles as you can see up here and I'm going through and I'm looking and this one video caught my attention and I always love videos that are titled like this. Oh, okay, here it is right here. He said this was the best haircut he'd ever had. The best haircut he'd ever had. He has ever had. Am I tripping here? I guess that's right. He'd ever had. Yeah, 1.7 GPA in high school. Just saying. Don't judge me, guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch this video. Hey guys, welcome back I'm to the Weaver Gentleman for YouTube channel at the Hunter Collective. Today we've got Sam in the chair. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm doing well. You all right? First of all, what do you do for a living? Do you have to wear anything smart clothing-wise? Sometimes, some days, but some all days. the time it's uh, quite chill, but some days you have to wear smart. I only ask you that because the hairstyle I've just been, you know, when you look at, when I'm when you give me a bit of free rein, I start thinking about what we can do with it. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I'm just gonna check your hairline at the front. All right, I just wanna see what it's like because it looks like it'll be low. Yeah, you've got a very strong hairline. I find with your texture of hair, okay, because you've got a little bit of curl to that, a little bit of bend in there, right? It's a little bit finer. There's a lot of hair though, right? But it's just a fine texture when you feel it, okay? Now, I think it's a bit of a waste just popping it over to one side. I think if we give you something that you could have a few options with, would you be okay going down to like a two or a three? Yeah. Yeah? That's me. Yeah, you happy with that? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. What I want to do at the top for you is I want to give you an option to wear it Again, up off your face. I think when you've got a strong hairline, it's a shame to leave it to kind of hide it or not use it. Okay, yeah, I mean, solid, solid jawline. So, you happy just to leave it to me? Go for it. Oh, cool. That consultation alone was worth the price of the haircut. That was a masterpiece. This is the difference. I be having people comment on my videos and have these opinions on what the cut should look like. I'm thinking to myself, man, like you really don't know. Like this is the difference between an elite barber, I feel like, and someone that's just cutting hair to make money. The way he broke that down, the way that he was talking about how, what's the point of having a haircut you can only have one style on? Let's cut it so that you could wear it in so many different ways and still achieve your go-to look that you want to have. He's keeping longevity in mind he wanted to see his jawline he wanted to see his face to see if short back and sides would look right on him he really broke that down he made this person feel like a million bucks he hasn't even started cutting his hair yet that was impressive i love this guy let's keep watching so i have just shampooed and conditioned sam's hair just trying to off a little bit more than i normally do so when it's wet it moves around a lot more than when it's dry so if you see that like a scrunchie mm -hmm. it curls an awful lot actually more than i thought it would to be fair the front doesn't as much because it's longer but everywhere else curls up a little bit so with that in mind this haircut that i'm going to do like just leave it a little bit longer on top it's going to give you so many options but now i'm wetting it down and i'm working on the horseshoe section right so because we are Working with the clippers on the back and sides, and we're using grades. I'm going to start to dry this off. As I'm doing this, as I'm drying this off, I'm just feeling for the occipital bone at the back and just feeling how prominent it is. It's quite prominent, so I'm going to probably have to work with that a little bit as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work up to the bone and then work up and off with the blender. Mm -hmm. So, three guard on, close guard. See, if I went higher with that, that would have shown through the three. Thank you. Because There's so many barbers that will automatically say that's a drop fade. Yeah. That's why I hate calling things names because to me, this is just cutting so that the haircut suits this person's head shape. That's all it is to me. Some people's fades should drop more than others. Some people's fades go straight two across, two but it's not necessarily about Leave it down, two and a half. giving someone a drop fade because some people don't look right with a drop fade. Like, to me, it's just keeping shape above the occipital bone mm -hmm. because you want to create more of a squared look like if somebody asks me a fade and they have a specific head shape they might get a fade that goes straight around they might get one that drops a little bit they're gonna get a mid fade but it's gonna be the mid fade that suits that person's head shape so that's why i don't like really giving people giving names to haircuts so you should be cutting haircuts that are appropriate for, for your specific canvas not really cookie cutter stuff tailored stuff right I'll work on my taper, sideburns, things like that as well in a sec. But I want to get this blending in done first. Main focus is making sure we Look work with the occipital bone here. Straight up, I want this to come and blend down to this point here, okay? Look when he lifts his hair up. If my man was to just, like a lot of barbers, especially in the States do, I think he started off with like a number two or something. If he would have ran that number two, see how high this is? 
If he would have ran that number two all the way up and cut all this off, his head shape, it wouldn't look as good. It wouldn't look squared. It wouldn't look as masculine. And he'd have a big protrusion, a big bone just sticking out here. That's the purpose of cutting the way that he did. Take it off and off. So we've got me one and a half guard on, leave it down, and I start to just taper the side bend in a bit tighter. I'm just working through the lever, just going to taper it down into the side bend. So I'll blend it down into the side bend. I'm going to start just to detail. And I'm just going to strengthen this up a little bit as well, so I might have to cut into it slightly. A lot of light baby hairs around the side bit, around the sides here in the temple. I would say about there would be nice. Okay, so you're still keeping side bend and you're still keeping shape. You guys realize this experience alone. Yeah. By keeping that shadow just around there, it just creates a nice lean finish. I want to talk, but long. I don't. I just want to listen. Just expose <laughs> the hairline fully. And so what I was saying is, yeah, I realized like this is the best haircut he's ever had, just based off ex the experience he's having right now. It could look like the same exact cut he's got in before. Gone. Leave her open. But the experience is just. I'm, up off. I'm not going to do too high. So don't want to go too high up into the occipital bone. This is next level. There. I know there's going to be people in my comment section that be like, That was too much. Just cut my hair, bro. And typically, those are the clients that ain't going to pay you $100 for a haircut. The clients that are willing to pay you $100 for a haircut are clients like this that appreciate that he Normally consulted about the now. sideburn. It turns into a one and a half, but it's just a little bit shorter than the guard, the one and a half guard. I'm just working up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with not wanting all this consulting. Not every client is for every barber. So I'm not knocking people who just be like, just open. keep it moving. Just finish this lining out. Now what we'll do is we'll work through the top. I will scissor over comb and everything on the back and side in a sec once I've connected in the top. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to work from the front back. So that way you've got enough for it to lie down and go over and it can also go up as well. So roughly about, I don't know what you say that is, about half an inch. I'm just going to point cut into that as well. There's my guide. I'm just keeping this all the way to just before the crown. Same angle. Now the crown I can't cut with them down. Seven inch three shears. sections <laughs> away. So one, two. He took like seven sections. And then three, or just he took like the seven to eight right. sections, bro. Just through there the middle go. there. Pick it up there. Pull that straight out. There's a connection, very, keeping very it squared. Mm -hmm. So that's doing is keeping that squareness in there as well. Mm -hmm. By cutting the top first, he's able to get a guide from the side of the head and just the top. Right into the clipper work. Side of the head. Pushing away down just through the back bit of here. And really just cutting so what's in the middle the crown, to connect so here it. the crown's over here. So we do a bit of scissor comb now, just to blend that in. Make sure on cross check. Yeah, that's cross checking. You could pull the hair out squared, you know, as well. You could do block graduation to cross check it as well. But that's much quicker, much more efficient. So that's the crown then. So okay. he's cutting the fringe 90 degrees so it layers. If you don't know what layers are, Google I'm layers. Layering it. Gives a softer, Long. less full. I'm just look. allowing this to fall forward if you want to as well. So just layering it in, not having too much of a disconnection. We're looking for different ways that someone can wear his hair today. Mm. I'm just following the hairline around. I'm just going to slide just from this bit here. Slide through. We pull away as we get to the front. So if you want to wear it down, you've got that texture. Breaks it up as well. I'm just gonna point cut into this, just straight down. Uh, just to break it up a little bit. Add a little bit of salt spray actually to this. Just add a little bit more bulk to the hair. Just add a little bit more dry, a little bit more thickness to the hair. So high speed, high heat. So the last thing we need to do now is the crown. Is I'm gonna freehand cut the crown. So I'm just cut into that. Back over, it all blends in nicely. So you can just over there at the top of the crown. Like that. There we go. 
going to use a tiny amount, okay, literally, okay, it's all we're going to need. Just make sure you rub it in, get a circle like that, just to coat the crown, and then just rub it in like a shampoo, okay? Now, one look is that. So up at the front, a little bit messy, a little bit textured. That's one look you can create. He's educating his client right now. This kind of look, okay? When you do that, you naturally sell product too. That's another thing. Like I'm sure he sells so it. much product. Too chill out. Like That's that. good. I love the way that kind of flicks up at the front. Next look, I'll do your sweep, okay? Let's do what you were originally having. A little sweep over, right? Bringing it in a part and bringing it over like that, okay? Personally, it looks nice. But again, I think it's a bit of a waste of what you could do with your hair. Mm. Just yeah. wearing it flat. Yeah, so you can wear it like side, that. Okay? And I know that the majority of the barbers who watch me are from the States. And we like sharper lines. We want pronounced lineup edge. We want the, the neckline way more pronounced. And that's fine. Everybody has their own preferences. But you can still do those sharp lines and care about how the hair grows back and care about shape and care about being able to give somebody a haircut that serves different purposes and different looks. Just a diverse looking cut. We can still balance those two things. That's all I'm saying. Another look you could do is wearing your fringe more down. Okay, so again, we go from the back, look it forwards, and then in your hair, a little bit more looser. You could definitely rock it like a crop, for sure. A whole different look. It's a squared cut. We create that look as well. Which looks good. So again, this is the type of cut that you might start your yeah. day off Which with volume, and throughout the day, it falls on your face, so the product deactivates, your hair's still gonna look good. It's up at the front, yeah? Yeah. So not just, not only that, look how pliable the clay is as well. I'm just literally running my fingers through it. It's not changing the hold yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. He just sold a clay. So imagine, he might have sold like three clays to him just now. Probably charged him seventy dollars. Sold him the clay for another twenty. He's at ninety with the tip. He just did a hundred dollars service. Turn your fingers through your hair. If I'm ever in the UK, I'm gonna That's go get two. my hair cut by see. Into a nice little taper. Let's see how he consults ah. my hair. I'm gonna grow it out. Thanks, man. Happy yeah. I see what the other guy was going about. <laughs> Bro, that dude was not uncomfortable the entire cut. Oh, thanks, man. That's the I've ever had. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Thank you. It's the before. Now look at the after. It's dope, man. Consultation was crazy. That was a masterpiece, man. That was a masterpiece. I definitely appreciate it. Y'all make sure you go subscribe to Regal Gentlemen. You know, get your little nuggets from me, get your little nuggets from Regal Gentlemen, and fuse them together. You're gonna be a monster. You're gonna set yourself apart. Look at my guy, Game Changer. I gotta react to one of his videos one of these days. Not today. I'm out.